Hello everyone, 2019 Ford Transit Tornio Custom. I've just given it a service. It's done just over 60,000 miles now and it's never had the fuel filter replaced. There's a good reason for that. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna compare the fuel filter on this Transit to that of a Mondeo Mark V two litre diesel. <laughs> that is the fuel filter for a Mark V Mondeo two litre diesel. This one here in this bloody huge box, there it is. There is our transit filter. Look at the freaking size of that compared to that. It, the, the, literally the diameter of this is huge compared to this one and it's a lot deeper as well. These ones here, I would norm, normally leave them about 30,000 miles at the absolute maximum before I change that. Normally I change them every sort of like 15, 20,000. These ones here, I've had these left up until 80,000 miles and they've not caused any problems. So, but this one's like 60,000 and I thought that's a good point to change it. And if you wanted to fit a genuine Ford fuel filter, there is the part number. Okay, going in. It is on the passenger side, just behind the front subframe. There she is. There's a nice little tap, and I've put like a drain tray underneath here. So I'm gonna undo this tap and see if it actually drains out. Nothing at the moment. Oh well, <laughs> that's flipping good. Oh, oh here it comes. You know, some of these taps, you undo them and take them all out and nothing comes out because they're blocked. Right, I shall let that fuel drain out into that tray. And I'll come back as soon as we're empty because I don't want to undo it and have it all sort of like pour out all over the place and make a right mess. It'll probably splash all over me. Well, it stopped dripping. And that there is a 32 mil nut. And I'm telling you now, I bet you this is pretty damn tight to undo. So I'm using like a half inch bar, quite a long bar actually, so I can get a lot of leverage on it. And I'm gonna see if this undoes. Flipping it, yeah, it's pretty damn tight, so go nice and steady. Yeah, flipping it. It's undoing. Yeah, you don't want anything to go wrong here. Oh, that's tight. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I should do the tap back up. Here we go. Now I've got a diesel all running down my arm. I get the feeling it's all going to splash out anyway, even though I try to drain it. I'm getting ready to run. Oh, here it comes. Yuck, yuck. <laughs> well, so, so much for having a tap on it when it still pours out all over the bloody place. <laughs> it's all run down my bloody arms into my armpits. <laughs> I'm going to go and pressure wash myself off in a minute. There. There we go. Dirty. But actually, looking at the filter, it's a little bit black, but I've seen a whole lot worse. That's actually not bad for 60,000 miles, I must say. I should have actually been more prepared for this, but I wasn't. Anyway, I'll give it a little wipe, clean up all the excess diesel that's spilt all over the bloody place. Now, our new filter, that rubber cap that comes on it, that needs to come off. Yeah, come on. 
there we go let's screw it on just so you know when you screw this back up there's a little ridge there so you can see that's the stop so it will, when you wind it up so far it will stop on that so don't go any further right nice and gently make sure you get it on the threads don't get it cross threaded okay Tell you what, it's pretty damn tight doing it back up as well. And that's it, that's as far as it goes. So, whether you can see this or not, but you see that little ridge, it literally butts up against the little stop so you can't go no further. And obviously, the little the little tap will be sort of like facing over towards the driver's side. Well, there is nothing more I can really do under here. I'm waiting for one of the tires to be replaced because uh, the tread was a bit low. So uh, I'll leave that for the time being. What I'll do now, I'll bring the ramp down and I guess we can get this fired up. You'll notice that these particular filters, you can't fill them up you can't fill them up with diesel so they'll start straight away so I'll show you exactly what we've got to do to get this running otherwise you're going to get a massive airlock in that filter and obviously that air is going to go through to the engine and the van won't start but they're quite easy to actually sort of like because what you've got in your fuel tank there is a electronic fuel pump so the pump is going to pump the fuel through the filter so what we'll do is we'll switch the ignition on half a dozen times to get as much fuel through that filter as possible then hopefully you won't have to crank the engine over too much to actually get it running so no there are no hand primer pumps or anything like that underneath the bonnet the only way we're going to get this going again with a minimum amount of fuss is basically just to switch the ignition on And obviously every time I switch the ignition on, the electronic pump in the fuel tank is pushing the diesel through. So I shall do this probably six times and that will help it along its way. I'm doing this in real time so we can, you can actually see what kind of a job it is to actually get this going again. It may well start and then it will cut out once the air gets through. Anyway, here we go. Yeah, you see that? It actually did run then. <laughs> I'll give it a few more primes. There we go. It needs some add blue as well. See a little spanner light that was on the where the rev meter is, that was to tell us that it had low fuel pressure. There's another little light down here, bottom right, that's uh, add blue. So I'm going to top the add blue up in a bit. But there we go. So to be honest with you, that was really quite easy to, pri to prime a diesel. All you've got to do is switch the ignition on half a dozen times. And for the size of that filter, the amount of diesel that was in, actually in that filter to fill it up again, and that's running nice. There we go, sweet as a nut. That's it, I've been meaning to do this video for a long time now but never actually got around to it. So for what it's worth, I hope it's useful. 
by the way, next time I do one of these filters, I'll be more prepared. It's been a long time and I forgot all about all the fuel coming out and all down my flipping arms up into my armpits. <laughs> I need to have a bloody good wash now. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Adios.